Just do a little bit of yoga. We don't need to record everything if you're asleep. Never run out of space. Okay. Okay. It hasn't started yet. So maybe we don't need to record yoga today. Just, um, I love it. I love the conference Diana gives. And I decided to go to my other group today because I got there by almost getting into a car accident once. I was going to the Shala for Dana's conference and there's this turn and the car, like I almost got in a car accident, but I did and then I turned and I was just thinking, I'm just gonna drive to the ocean and just sit there and go to the juice bar. But then I realized I was in the line which turns left and I'm like, I'm not turning in your own directions now, I'm just gonna follow the rules. So I turned left and I came to the second Charlotte parking lot because I know where it is. And I was like, I'm just gonna sit and, and um, journal in my car. And then all of a sudden I see Sandia walking to the second Charlotte. And I was like, I know this lady, maybe I'll go, maybe it's a meditation. I was like, if it's yoga, I'm not doing it. I just didn't feel like yoga that day. And I came and it was this um, community circle. It's like Toastmasters. I mean, on my gratitude, I have to say I'm grateful for Toastmasters. I cannot believe I didn't say it. It just, there's so many things I'm grateful for. And I'm absolutely grateful. And I, I did say it because I, I mentioned the Toastmasters official group. But I, I'm grateful for my club in Dana Point, South Orange County Toastmasters. And I'm grateful for my psychologist and South Orange County Psychology and all the coincidences and I'm grateful for my new watch which is a Phoenix watch and I'm grateful for the man I love and I could mail him a book by Miriam I'll Return to Prayer and I could listen to her reading Return to Love and I'm grateful for books and I'm grateful for love. Above all, there are times I just not as happy, and there's time he's not as happy. And just being able to be with each other, sit with each other pain, and I will record the poem again. Because now I know much deeper meaning of that poem I send them. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for and if you dare to dream from meeting your heart's longing. But there are lines where it says, can you sit with my pain and can I sit with your pain? And there are times where, can you sit with my joy and can you share, can I share my joy of watching cartoons with you? Even if you're not in a like you have to work so hard as a medical um, person delivering babies and just doing so much and delivering babies is like we all know having a baby is not the easiest experience and yet it's the most amazing and profound experience and delivering babies is the most important job there is. I love you. And that's my top gratitude. I just cannot share it with everyone. But I can because I'm nuts. <laughs> and I still gonna do my work because I trust the universe that blinds are very important. That's why I'm charging my phone from solar panels, little solar panel thing. Yeah, from this solar panel thing, I charge my phone. And if you have blinds, then you use less energy at somewhere. And we're all saying also at the circle that the earth is healing and there's dolphins in Venice and the sky is cleaner and we stopped their productive 
collection of all the things we were manufacturing. Actually, all the things which were mostly manufactured in Asia. For us to have 50 shirts and 20 pants. And, and it's not our fault. Don't judge anyone. I think that's the biggest message from cartoons. Like, be humble and kind. That's what my Russian cartoons taught me. And from everything else, I'm losing my thoughts. But let's be grateful. Don't judge anyone. Be humble and kind. Read books. Whatever books. Return to Love. Course in Miracles. Which I haven't finished. It scared me to think that how real is this world? It scared me. And then I had a dream last night. And the dream was that I came to Bob Metzler, my anger class. And somehow just him and I. And I was like, okay, this is fun. This is gonna be fun. It just Bob and I were gonna have so much fun. Then I come to the corner and I say my prayers. Because I can do that Actually, Ayanga and uh, Ashtanga, they have the second invocation is the same, but I was like, I'm just gonna do my prayers, and I close my eyes. And when I open my eyes, all of a sudden, I'm in this room. Shala, Ocean Shala room. And I turn around, and there's all my friends, and there's JJ Flowers, and Jen, who's Jen, and they're like, all my friends, and they're looking at me, and they're telling me, Yes, you were on the Truman Show and you were the main heroine. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And they're like, and, but they're all standing like they're gonna do primary series. And I was like, what does it mean? What does my dream mean? I cannot be the main character on the Truman Show. No, I know other people are real too. So it's more complex. And yet I think each of us is in our own shows. And every experience we have affects us. And that's why my psychologist told me it's okay for me to hoard food and buy extra food and some solar panels just in case there's no electricity. But if there's just for a day, I could, and my phone is connects me to everyone. So it's okay. And so every experience you have affects you. And maybe you've never went through food shortages like I did. And you've never lived in a house, in an apartment building with rats and then the fire when you had to okay, grab your little kid and run outside, but dress up because it was winter. And you don't have this experience yet. You watched the movies and they're like sci-fi movies and they affect you too. Because sometimes I think in sci-fi movies, but in a way, I saw Truman movie too, and I saw Matrix. And I saw movies which kind of tells you, you're in charge of your show, you're in charge of your movie. And I love that too. And I'm gonna go to my yoga and I'm not gonna record it probably, how much this woman can record. <laughs> love you. Back to you. Like Toastmasters, and I was talking actually very softly no clue why um, but sometimes I have this very soft voice it's very woman voice and sometimes I have this strong voice of a woman who could code and store food and sometimes but the soft voice is of a loving woman and a mother so here we go let's go do yoga I love you back to you